good morning and thank you for tuning in rosewardstampersdelight.com. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come scrapbook with me. Today is Scrapbook Sunday and we are going to get started. Just a couple of reminders. You can find scrapbooking and stamping apparel at the stampersdelightshop.com. You have five more days to sign up for my October, can you believe it's going to be October already, October Funfold online class, and also five days left to sign up for my online scrapbooking class with the Autumn to Remember. So let's flip the camera. So I'm using the scrapbook kit for Autumn to Remember today. Um, basically, the class next month, you get everything but the die cuts. So you get... Uh, not the die cuts, the wooden elements to this. So all the um, information is in the links below. So this kit is the whole scrapbooking kit. And like I showed last week or the week before, it gives you the layouts, the measurements to recreate these pages, three double layouts, and then you have plenty left over to do more. I'm going to change mine up a little bit and make it my own. If you watch me, you know I hate using measurements, <laughs> but we're going to get started. And again, I have an idea what I want to do. We'll see how it turns out. So this, I've already done my um, journaling. We're going to put that aside. This piece right here, I've already pulled it out. Very gently, I'm going to move that over. And there's some more die cuts. We'll put these over here. And these great die cuts too. And some of these sentiments that they have already put up here are perfect for what I wanted to use this for. I have some pictures here. And this was from our anniversary five years ago. My husband surprised me and took me to Henry's at the Farm Restaurant. <clears throat> that's in Milton, New York, I believe. And that's how I'm going to get started. Now, this is a little dark. I could have lightened up. I should have lightened up the picture, but we're going to go with it. So we'll put that over there. I'm going to grab these, put these over here. You see all the beautiful die cuts that come with this set. So I'm going to look at this picture, and you see what uh, designer series paper they used. I'm going to go with the green. So let's grab two of my uh, two-tone cardstock, and you see one is light and one is dark. I don't know how many pages I'm going to get done today. We'll see. Let me put that over here. So I'm going to start. Let me just pull this down a little bit more so you can see it. And there's the light and the dark so you can see the difference. I'm going to go with the dark. And then I'm going to bring in some of the um, designer series paper that they used. Because I'm going to create similar. So we're going to go with that. It's kind of whimsical. And here's some more two-sided. These are two-sided. And then the green. This is two-sided. Uh, this is single-sided. Single-sided. We don't want those. I want the other double-sided one. This one, that's a single side. Okay, I think that's how I'm going to start. And for this one, for the first one, it shows you how to cut these. These are three and a half by ten. These are six by six. I'm not really going to go with this whole lay out the way they have it. So we're going to start with this page, this one, and let's grab that other one for the second side. Do, 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 do. Where's the other one? There we go. Okay. So for this one, first and second page. It shows you this is doo, doo, 
do now. It says eight by seven, but I think I'm going to change that. So let me bring in my paper trimmer. So what you can do here is you can follow the instructions or you can make it your own. So I am going to start with this piece. And I think I'm going to do eight. eight. So I'm not following the instructions. Eight by nine. Let me try eight by nine. I think that's what I want. That's going to be centered right there. This one, I'm going to do the same thing. Again, I'm not following the instructions in the kit exactly. I'm making it my own. So we're going to do eight by nine. And I'm going to center those. I'm using my stamp and seal. Put a layer of that one right in the center. Grab the second one. Now, if I don't know exactly what pictures I'm going to use, I will wait to add the pictures. Okay, so I have two of those. You can see that. We're going to add some strips then. I do want to add kind of the same way they have it. So I'm going to do three and a half by ten. So this is three and a half. And three and a half. Now these little guys are going all different ways, so it doesn't really matter which way you have it. By 10. And then I need two of these strips. I'm gonna do three and a half again. Three and a half again. But now what I'm gonna do instead of 10, Ten. I'm going to do that at 11. You can see they cut these to make them a banner type. I don't know about you, but I don't do that so well, so I'm not going to do that. And then we have this one on the other side, and I don't want to have to use another sheet of paper. So this one happens to be five inches, so I am going to do it in half. I'm just going to mark that like this. There we go. And that's going to be two and three quarters. And I am going to do that. What did I do this one at? 11. So I'm going to do this one at 11 and a half. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I have an idea in my head, and we're going to learn together. Okay, let's put that aside for a second. And then I can add this one here. I can add that one there. So I'm getting that wood backing. And you can see I'm just laying it out to see which way I want to do this. And I think that's the way I want to do it, but I'm not laying it down yet. I'm going to grab this piece and do it opposite. Okay. I think that's the way I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring that back in. And like I said, these little guys are going both ways. I'm not doing it the banner type. 
I'm just laying down my pieces like this. Okay, so I think that's how I want it. Let's go ahead and glue this one down. Oh, I already, did I already glue that down? Yes, I did, okay. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and layer these down. And we'll grab this one. So I can still see all that designer series paper. This one, we're going the opposite way. Okay, I switched those, so let's do that. So it will flow. Whatever one I had here, I wanna start with that one. But you see what I did? I used the different sides, so let's switch that. There we go. Okay. It's all a process. Trial and error. I'm going to move that all the way over here. There's really no wrong way to do this. It's your page and your memories. So do it the way you like. Move that all the way over here. I think I like that one. Nope. Like I said, these little guys are going different ways, so, okay. I am going to bring in this piece, which is a large piece for the center, taking out the pieces that you don't need very gently because this can rip. Just taking out those pieces. I think I got them all. I am going to whoop, get that one out of the way. So now you can still see those designer series papers. For this, I'm going to use my glue press, my liquid glue. And I'm going to flip that around. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. It's white. And just add a little bit of glue. It does have the number one here. So each project is numbered, the die pieces, if you want to follow the instructions. Okay, now this one I do know that I want to start with this picture. And I also want to grab where we were. So let's see where that picture is. I mean, these pictures are just absolutely beautiful. There it is. And that I'm going to, I'm going to crop that. So I'm going to crop this one a little bit. I don't need all that background. I just want to know where we were even though I have it on the journaling. We also have some place markers that they give you for matting. So let's take a look at that. So these are white. And this, of course, is four by six, which is the same size as that. This one is four by four. So if I make this smaller, I can use the four by four as my placeholder. So let's do that. So just so you could see it, I didn't necessarily wouldn't always do this. And I'm just trimming it off to get it to fit onto that placemat or place card. I'm gonna just grab a little bit more off the bottom here so that I can fit it in there. So you see how to use the place markers. This one, of course, is four by six, so let's take a little off of here. Not too much off of that one. And then this is the four inches, so I'm just gonna maybe make that three and three quarters. 
This is a great way to get started if you ever wanted to scrapbook. So now I have a white background there. So we're going to go ahead and layer that one down. And then I'll do the same one with this. Again, you don't have to use the place markers if you don't want to, or the placeholders as they call them. I call them mattings. We're going to add that right there. Okay. I am then going to figure out where I want everything. So I want that really my focal point, but I also want to put where I was. But I think I want our picture up there. And then you can see they have all these cute little elements that you can use. And I am going to grab, look, let's look at the, the sayings here. So here's all these, and here is my journaling. My journaling can go there. Again, I'm not following the instructions, but I love these. I'm just going to grab my coffee. Sentiments. Story of the day. Days to remember. Grateful for this moment together. That's definite. Memories to keep. So I'm going to start with the larger one. And I think I'm going to put that one right there. So now that I have that, let's go ahead and glue this one down. Again, you can follow the instructions they show, but I like to... Whoop. Now, that, don't do this. <laughs> don't do what I just did. Do not put your glue on your photo. And I'm going to just wipe that off. I do have an e adhesive remover, which I don't have near me. So I'm just wiping it with a piece of cloth. Hey, I never said I was perfect when I do this. Okay. Here we go. We're going to move that up and we're going to add a little glue to the sentiment part. Add that right there. Memories to keep, story of the day. Here. I want this to show up a little bit more. Yeah. Memories to keep. Okay. So I'm going to leave that page the way it is right now. Story of the day, memories to keep my my journaling. We'll put that over there. And then I am going to bring in the next, some more pictures here. And lay these out. This is, I mean, look how beautiful these are. Now, so these are the food ones. And these are the place itself. <laughs> these are some me and Reggie. And then these are the some more pictures of the place. So let's start with this one. And I am using this as a little bit of a guide to see how they did it. I want Henry's, that's the place. And then maybe me and Reggie right there. I'm going to crop these a little bit. You know what? I don't think I am going to crop those. I like that whole piece there, and I love this picture of him. So I think I'm going to leave that that way. I'm not going to crop those. I'm going to lay those down. 
I really want to do this whole page today, but I don't know that I'm going to finish it. We're going to add that right there. We'll see how far I get. Okay, let's look at the sentiments. We got some wood wood sentiments. We've got these little whimsical things here. Not sure that I'm gonna use those yet. We've got grateful. And I think I might wanna use that wood element. Grateful for the time that we were able to spend together in 43 years. These are wood elements, and I just want to get those out without breaking it. Okay. We'll put the grateful right there. Days to remember, September, it was September. Let's see, days to remember can go right there. Yeah, September right there. Grateful, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put there. Let's grab these little guys first. You know what? This was crooked, so I'm just going to lift that up if I can and move that. September, I did lay it down, but I want to put this under it if I can. If you do it gently enough, you can lift it. Because I change my mind as I'm going. I'm going to add this piece first and then this one. There we go. I'm going to take my liquid glue. Just looking at my little things here that I might want to use. I want something for there, but I'm not sure yet what. Maybe a picture. I might crop that. No, I want those together. Let's do... Oh, look at that. I, I can't... I can't figure out which one I want to use because they're all so beautiful. Oh, I think that one will go nice right there. So let me trim that one down just so I can fit that where I want it. Just taking off a little bit. I don't want to take off too much because the picture itself is beautiful and peaceful. Okay, I think that's good. So again, I'm going to lift this up, and I think I'm going to set that right in here. Okay, I like that. Again, don't use your stamp and seal on your photos. Oh, I'm going to trim this one more time. I don't want it to hit that grateful. This is just the way I do it. I mean, sometimes I have everything laid out, but because I wanted to do this live, I didn't. Okay, there we go. There's my second page. Again, I may, I'm may i not done with these, but that's what I'm using for now. So here's the two right here. I'm going to go back and add gems because I'm a gem person. 
So let me put these aside and let's do another page. So I am going to grab this again. And let's see what the next page looks like. So that's that. They have that one right there. Number two. And you can see the um, instructions here. That's number one. This is number two. But I'm a visual person, and I'm going back to this one. It's not as large, but I can I can use this one. All right. So let me grab the two pieces that I want here. And we have the light and the dark again. I'm going with the dark. And now, let's see, we need this piece. And this piece, again, is double-sided. I'm not sure I like that side. So we're going to go with this one. Just for ha-has, let me see what they have that cut at. visually and this is 12 by 12 so I am going to cut that I think at four inches I'm doing it a little different than theirs and we'll cut this one at four inches again here's all my pieces I'll be using those for probably the next page And then I'm going to do it at 11. I want a little bit of this. I don't want it um, hanging off there. And then let's see what we have here for our leftover pieces. Let me grab this one. That's the green. So again, I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to do this one at three inches, and another one at three inches. And I'll do this one also at 11. here and I'm going to add this one here and I'll do the same thing on the other side these kits really do give you I mean they give you the layouts for like I said three double layouts but you have enough to do more and use this Next page, I want to do this. Whoop. These are going. You want those to go the right way. those laid down. They have these cute little things here. I want to try these. These right here. So what you're going to do is, again, it's got the project, project number two. 
and we're going to take those apart, poke those out. My stuff is buried here. <laughs> so some of those uh, wood pieces I used in other scrapbook pages, which I did, I didn't do a video on, but I posted. And the one that's the circle one, um, I think it said, be grateful. I forgot. I did for my mother-in-law's 99th birthday. Let's take these out very gently. Again, if you've never scrapbooked, this is the way to go because it has everything you need, layouts, ideas. And if you are a scrapbooker, you know how great these kits can be. And I can't wait for more of them to come out. I'm saving these strips because you can use those for sentiments if you wanted to incorporate stamping. I'm not doing stamping today. I like to just get my pictures down. And this has everything I need, so I don't have to add any stamping. But there are stamp sets that go with these kits, or you can use stamp sets that you already have. Do, do, do. Just looking here. Okay. They did use this one, so I think I will use that. Let's just poke those out. I know this takes so much time. I should have had these poked out before, but I wanted you to see them. Again, I'm keeping these pieces because they may want to use those. So this is a little bit longer video. If you don't have time to watch the whole thing, the great thing about videos is that you can come back and watch it later. There's a lot of pieces here. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, and definitely share my videos. Okay, finally. Now, move all that out of the way. These strips, I do believe you could add to the back. So let me show you what that would look like. So now you're going to have some of these colors in there. So first what I want to do before I do any of that is I want to lay these out to where I'm going to put them and then decide if I'm going to add some of those strips which I think I'm going to. Alright, so let's just play around with these. Right, where did I have that one? Nope. There we go. So again, adding some of these strips like that, you can get a little bit more of a background. I'm going to try that. I just have to remember where I'm putting these. This one can go right here. I'm just going to add a little glue on the end here. So basically, you're following along with me, and I haven't done any of this yet, so we'll see how it comes out. That didn't quite get over there. 
but I think I have enough in there to keep it down. Let's use the green one. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this side. And don't put glue on your projects like I'm doing. Yeah, this one fits there. So we're going to add this right about here. I'm not going to use all of them because I want to save them. <laughs> I love to save things to use them at a different time. Let's just add a little glue right there. Let's get some glue on that. Again, I'm doing it right on my project. I don't recommend you do that. Maybe just the two and I'll save them. We'll see. Let's see what I'm doing. Okay, here's a little yellow one. So that'll fit in there. Yep. Okay. This one fits on something here. Yep, right there. So we're going to add that. <laughs> this is kind of long. Let's see where this one's going to go. And this one's going to go right here. But wrong way. So I'm gluing them, but you can see that they fit right in there. That one, that one fits right nicely in there. The other ones, I didn't think so. I'm just going to add, try to add a little glue, maybe to hold it. I haven't played with this, so you're seeing it for the first time. I'm sure there's an easier way to do it. Except for this is the wrong way. Ah, put it the wrong way. All right, now I gotta take it away. Because this is, this is the back side, so I want it on here. Okay, so we'll do it again. Let me add that there. <laughs> this one would go in here. And this one, where did I have this one? This yellow one. Right here. That's actually wider. Okay, that's what confused me. Okay. I think it's going to be easier for me to do it this way. <laughs> I'm not even sure I'm going to do that. Okay, I got it now. See, like I said, we're, we're learning together. Let me glue this down first. I didn't say I knew how to do it. <laughs> Let's glue this down right here. Now I get it. Would have been nice if I read the directions. Then you pop this in here. So let's, everybody's going, yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> now we'll put those strips in there. Oh my God, look how much easier that is. Okay, so let's grab this one. Because I don't think this one actually goes to that. We're going to hold off on that. Let's put this one on. What did I say? We're learning together. Okay, that's going to go right there. And let's see what other strips we might have for this one. That doesn't fit. strips I want to use for this. I did. I can make my own strips. Nah. Okay, let's take a look at the directions again. Yeah, they only used a couple of them, so we're only going to go with these. This one doesn't really fit into these, so we'll use them for something else. 
this one, I can slide right up in here if I wanted to, but I don't. <laughs> Let's grab this one. I can make my own little. Ooh, I could do that. Hey, like I said, we're doing it as we go. I'm going to glue this down and I'm going to cut that. There we go. Make my own. And looking for the scissors. There they are. Okay. Let me just trim that one off. Now I have those little pieces. And guess what? I can actually use that on this end. I'm just piecing things together and making it my own. All right, that's enough. We're going to add some glue here again. I don't recommend you do this on your project, but I want to be in camera view. Okay, let's switch back here. Some of this is going to be not showing. So let's grab this one. All right, I think I've had enough of that one. <laughs> All right, let's take a look and see what we're doing here. All right. I'm going to grab, got all, I got all these pieces. I love it. Okay. So now, I need some pictures. I can put those right inside there. But I really like this for maybe like this. Should have put it there. Okay. I'm going to do that. I think these I am going to actually mat. Actually, I'm going to change that. This strip right here. This one, I'm going to do the same thing. Just like that. And I just found something else that I want. I think on this one. So these little pieces hiding my mess. There we go. I'm reading the little sentiments here. Happy days. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. And stick this right there. Now, I still have a lot of pictures to put down, so. And then I'll put this one right here. 
Definitely, <laughs> don't do what I did on this one. Add that right there. Okay, we are going to add this one. This is project three, but I, again, I'm not using it the way they said to use it. This is project one, but again, I'm changing mine. So it does tell you the project numbers, but I'm changing them up. Happy day. And this is going to be I think I want this one over here. That says Grateful Heart. Do that. I got these little pieces here, so I'm going to use those. If you saw my last one, I did follow the directions, but this one I am not. I'm making it. Well, I, I changed up the other one, too. It's all good. And then I have two more. And those two. I'm going to put this way. Okay, so we are going to just look at this again. Add some of this glue. Okay, well, I just got a phone call, so let's just get this back here. I guess it's telling me I should get off. Let me get you back on. There we go. All right, got a phone call, not sure why. That went off, <laughs> and that's all in a good day. So this is what I'm gonna do here. That always happens to me, even though I have it on Do Not Disturb. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with that. So now, I'm gonna end today and we are going to finish this next week. Yes, you have to come back. So we have this project done. I told you this was gonna be a long one. And then this is the second page that we're working on. And I am gonna finish this up next Sunday. So you have to come back to see it. Sorry. Otherwise we'd be here all day. And let's see how I finish that off. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to come back next week and we will finish the Autumn to Remember scrapbook kit. Thank you. See you next week. Bye.